I don't know how good God has been to you, but he's been better than good. Come on, say he's been better than good. I don't know how good that is. I can't measure it, but he's been better, better. Somebody say better, 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 better than good. God, we thank you. We just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, put your hands together. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hey, all my life, you made ways out of no way. You picked me up when I was down. You loved me when I was unlovable. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God. And we pray today that you will have your way in the room. Continue to move by your power. Continue to have your way. Continue to save us. Continue to love on us. Continue to heal us. Continue, God, oh, to deliver us in the mind, in the mind, in our emotions. yes to God. Come on, say yes to him. Come on, say yes. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Forgive our sins. Blot out our trespasses. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, fill us again. Let the Holy Ghost fill this room. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Eva Bashata. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Now, God, we thank you for your word and for what you're going to do. We ask this in Jesus' name. Thank God. Clap your hands and give God glory. Come on, bless the Lord. You may be seated protocol has been established, but I certainly honor our presiding bishop, Bishop Sheard, and to our general supervisor, Dr. Barbara McCoo-Lewis. I honor my president, a man of our AIM convention, a man, and I honor the president of the missions department, Bishop Matthews. Thank you for allowing me to serve with you. To Bishop Speedwell, our evangelist president. Amen. And to our beautiful elect lady, who I love. I always say those are Maddie's girls. There's not many days that pass. One of the things she would say to me, Van said, pray for my girls. There's not many days that pass that at 5 o'clock in the morning when I meet God, and have my time with God, I don't say, God, bless Maddie's girls. Amen. We have to pray for our children. And I thank God. To my bishop that's in the room, Bishop Paul Richard Harmon. Amen. Served with him over 20 years. Amen. And he was one of the ones when I, I served a duel I served domestic and international while I was in Brazil. He was one of my supporters. He loved and prayed for me and was scheduled to go with me 9-11. And they canceled all our tickets. But thank God he's yet 
we're yet working together in the word of the Lord today. Amen. There is a word from God to my executive board. Amen, Dr. Bowen. These beautiful young ladies that God has put in my life, I want you to know I appreciate you. Daniel chapter 7. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given into his hand into a time and times and the dividing of times. The word of the Lord. I praise God for my children that are here and all of my nieces and nephews. Just wave your hands. All of the Van Zant, Jones, McLean, Reed family. Amen. The church of Jesus has no doubt that we're living in the last days. The days that Paul talked about perilous times dangerous times, hazardous times. My big old fat handsome son sitting over there. That's Corby Bush, y'all. That's Mother Richardson shares him with me. Amen. Risky times. Now there's only one Lee Van Zandt. Amen. And I might in the middle of what I'm saying, Mother Richardson, say what I need to say. Risky times. Times when men are lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. This is a time of con conflicts on every level. It is not strange when we see what is going on around this world. Amen. I want to remind us, saints of God, that the Lord said, I will do nothing except I reveal myself to the prophet. Thank you, Jesus. So we are living in a time when men are blasphemers, women as well. Children are disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Truth breakers just won't keep their word. No integrity, liars. Seemingly lie without reason. False accusers. Despisers of those that are good. Just dislike you for no reason at all. Just because you love God. Well, by the way, my subject is I won't allow the devil to wear me out. Would you repeat that? I will not allow the devil to wear me out. We're living a day when men have a form of godliness. They know how to do church. We know how to testify. Test a lie. We know how, we know how, we know how to have a praise break without knowing who we're really praising. Hallelujah. Oh, there is nothing new. It may seem new. This age of technology has opened a new world of challenges to our youth of today. They're encountering all kinds of things that are attractive to them. Things that seem to be compelling them. 
Ah, things that bring new temptations. Just You just ought to try it. But all unrighteousness is sin. It's yet sin. The media has made the world that seems so far away come into our homes and has given greater opportunities for people to become involved in the areas of sin where they were limited before. Some sins were far removed from the average churchgoer's home. There were things that we heard about growing up in my generation, but we never dreamed that they would be available to us. Ah, because of finances, social status, cultural differences, some things just did not touch our world. But I want to say, sisters and brothers, that those barriers are no longer existing. The devil has moved barriers, my God. But I come to remind the church of Jesus Christ that the apostle John said that all that's in this world is the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. The devil is using fancier packaging, but a flapjack is nothing but a pancake. Hallelujah. I know we're calling things by different names, but all of the sexual activities is nothing but, oh, mm, hey, the lust of the flesh. We want to put homosexuality and lesbianism in a different category, but it's nothing but the same spirit that causes us to commit fornication and adultery. It's the same old spirit, hallelujah, that has transformed himself into an angel of light and has enticed our sisters and brothers but it is the same spirit hallelujah we can excuse the whoremongers he can have babies all over town but we can't excuse a homosexual well i come to tell you it's the same self spirit all that's in this world is the pride of life the lust of the eye and the lust of the flesh hallelujah and we see, we see men and women willing to risk their lives just to get a high, get a thrill, a feel good for just a few moments. But I say it again, all unrighteousness is sin. Hallelujah. Y'all sit down. I just got a few minutes. The other day, Five men took a journey in an unapproved vessel to sh view the Titanic wreck at the bottom of the ocean and lost their lives. It's a day when men are careless, cold toward their fellow men. Hallelujah. These men spent thousands of dollars to go on that journey, but yet homelessness has accelerated to numbers that are frightening in our society. Hallelujah. Our society has a population of millionaires and billionaires who has money that they will never spend, but yet they will spend money to satisfy that lust, the lust of the eye. That's what it's all about. The prisons are filled with men and women who made bad choices and bad decisions. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you today, the devil knows what's going on. He sees what's going on in our churches. 
but sisters and brothers we need to pray and ask God to give us the Issachar mandate hallelujah that we will be aware of the times and have an answer for this messed up world thank you Jesus Jesus is still the answer for the world's needs he still hallelujah is able to change anybody from anything into what he wants you to be the spirit of god makes us like the son of god but it's through the word of god Satan knows that, so he puts roadblocks in our mind to keep the believer from reading and knowing God's word. When we get a relationship with God through prayer, hallelujah, through the word of God, through committing yourself to God. Jesus said, if you want to be my followers, my disciples, disciplined followers, you must deny the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Hallelujah. You got to do it. Paul writes and he commends each believer to God. And to the word of his grace, which is able to build the believers up and give them an inheritance among all of them that are sanctified. Because God's word is like a seed. It's filled with potential. Hallelujah. For Jesus said, the words which I have spoken unto you, they are life. So when a believer reads the word, his mind is illuminated. His heart resonated hallelujah and the truth comes alive in him hallelujah you see the word of God will create the faith that you need because the time is coming and it is now that the just shall live by faith hallelujah without faith it's impossible to please God thank you Jesus so when we read the word of God it heals our hurts it builds our character it your form transforms our circumstances it imparts joy when there's sorrow in your heart it helps you to overcome adversities it defeats every temptation it builds hope on the inside it releases the power of God it cleanses your mind you won't want to have pornography in your spirit anymore it releases the power power of God hallelujah and it guarantees your future in the world that we're living in we are dealing with the real live devil this is part two from the message on this morning we're all ready victorious hallelujah and let me let's skip over here you see the devil uses his power and then the Lord wants us to understand praise God that we've got to put Jesus in the heart of our children mothers and fathers we are the first teachers we are the first instructors and we've got to do what's necessary hallelujah to train our children many of the saints do not make their children go to church they won't bring them to church but they make excuses for their children they need to let their children know Ephesians 2 and 2 has not changed. Satan is the prince of the power of the air. They're going to encounter the power of Satan. We told people that Satan didn't have no power. 
Ah, but that's an incomplete truth. He is powerful. But thanks be to God, when you have a relationship with God, oh Lord, Jesus said, my power I give unto you, not as the world no power. Sisters and brothers, hey, the blood of Jesus yet works. Praise God. I don't care how bold and bad the devil may be. He cannot come under the blood. So in my text today, Daniel saw a vision of what was to come. Let me repeat, surely the Lord will do nothing except he reveal to his prophet. I had an opportunity in November 2019 to speak in the morning manner. I didn't remember it until somebody called me and said, Van Zandt, you said, and I listened to the message, that God said that he's sending something that's going to affect the whole world. And get ready, church of God in Christ, because I'm going to shift you. I'm going to move you. I'm going to shift, shift, shift. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord, the Lord, uh, praise God. Uh, won't us to know church of God in Christ uh, don't be weary in well doing uh, cause there's gonna be a time of reaping hallelujah Daniel's vision showed uh, the four animals and the first one looked like a lion but had wings of an eagle its wings were pulled off and it stood erect on two feet like a man then it got a human heart placed in it uh, and the second animal that he saw looked like a beast it lurched from side to side holding three ribs in his jaw it was told to attack the devil does not mind attacking your family he doesn't mind attacking your church he doesn't mind attacking your business he's about the business of attacking us hallelujah my god it was told attack devour and fill your belly hallelujah and then the third animal looked like a panther it had four bird-like wings on its back it had four heads and was made to rule don't you know that the devil want to rule you hallelujah he wants to control you through the media he wants to control you praise God through the classroom he want to control you through the books that you read uh, through the media hallelujah the, the movies that you watch uh, the songs that you listen to uh, I'm not going through that they had it today uh, my God uh, but then this third animal uh, praise God uh, had to move to the sideline and a fourth animal appeared the Bible says it was horrendous he looked horrible. It had huge iron teeth. It crunched and swallowed its victims. It crunched and swallowed anything. Praise God. And when anything was left over, it trampled it into the ground. Hallelujah. This animal had ten horns. Then another small horn appeared and three of the original horns were pulled out and made room for this little horn that had human eyes and a big mouth that spake arrogantly. Didn't mind cursing. Didn't mind saying filthy, low down, dirty stuff. But, somebody say but. The ancient of days. But the God of our fathers, but the God of the heavens, oh Lord, Daniel say he sat down 
His robe was white as snow. Yeah, Lord. His hair was white like wool. His throne was flaming with fire. My God. His wheels were blazing. My God. And a river of fire poured out of the throne. Hallelujah. Come on, say God is bad. Yeah, hey. And thousands served him. Tens of thousands attended him. And the courtroom was called to order. And the books were opened. Hey, that little horn was speaking arrogantly. The monster was killed and his body was burned up in a burning fire hallelujah the other animals lived for a while but they had no power to rule what are you saying daniel i don't care how bad the devil is for the bible the bible said when the sons of god came together satan came also he wasn't afraid to come oh lord but god god is more powerful Powerful than any devil. Thank you, Jesus, for the Son of Man came to destroy the works of the devil. He came, hallelujah, and although the devil had power and tried to wear out the saints of God, saints, if we would hold to God's word, don't fear the devil. Understand that the power on the inside of you is greater than any devil. You cannot be afraid of what the devil will do. Oh, yes. I tell my children when I go overseas, if I die, just leave me there because I'm going where Jesus is. I'm not afraid of the devil because if I live, I live unto Christ. If I die, I die unto Christ. But you've got to make a decision. I will not allow the devil to wear me out. He may push me. He may shove me. He may talk about me. But I, I'm not afraid. Oh, Lord. I'm not afraid. I made a decision. He will not wear me out. I don't care what he says, what he does. He does not have the power to wear me out because judgment has been given to the saints. <laughs> judgment has been given to the saints. Don't you know? saints of God that we're going to judge this world hallelujah but you've got to keep your light and yourself under control you cannot partner with the devil you cannot be partakers of what the devil does you've got to come out from among them and be separate you cannot participate with what the world is doing I know we say that it's no harm the devil is powerful enough if you're weak minded enough he will wear you out hallelujah some of us we just can't stand it when folk talk about us Talk about me all you want to. You know what my daddy said? He said, when you were born, the first night you were born, they started talking about you. Said old brother Jones had another girl, and he liked to drown trying to go get the midwife. So let him talk. Let him talk. The more you talk, it's free advertisement. The more they talk, hallelujah, somebody going to want to know who you are. The more they talk, the more God pushes you. He said, I'm going to make them my footstool, your footstool. What does a footstool do? It holds you. It supports you. 
God will make the enemy support you when he don't want to. It lifts you. Ah, baby Dorinda, if they give me enough haters, hallelujah, I have enough footstools to become an escalator. Ah, and after a while, I'll be so high that they don't know what to do. Hey, Lord, I will not. It's my decision. I don't have no decision about a whole lot of things, but I have a decision about leaving Zant. And I made up my mind that I will not. I just won't let the devil wear me out. Hallelujah. I might wear out working for God, but the devil won't wear me out. I've cried my last tear. I won't cry anymore. Hallelujah. He put joy down on the inside. And when the devil think you ought to be crying, open your mouth and laugh unto the Lord. Hallelujah. I will not, come on, say it. I will not allow the devil to wear me out. Hallelujah. Because judgment has been given to the saints. And we're greater, we're smarter, we're better than any devil from the pits of hell. What God has given you is more powerful. Yes, it's more knowledgeable. The wisdom of God is greater than the wisdom of the devil. So. name on it. God want to set you free from the problems and the fears of the past. God wants you to know that I'm God and beside me there is no other God. I don't care how powerful the devil may seem. Greater is he that's in us. Greater is he that's in us. Come on, say that. Greater is he that's in me. The he that's in the world. I will not. I will not. I will not. I will not, I will not, I will not, never we come to serve notice on you. Oh Lord, I will not allow you to wear me out. You may take my children, it'll make me feel bad. Oh Lord, mama and daddy may go, it'll make me feel bad. But you got to make up your mind. Live or die, sink or swim. Oh, my heart is fixed and my mind is made up. I'm going all the way. Somebody say all the way. All the way with the Lord. Yeah, Lord. Oh, 
I'm going all the way. Lord, I, I will not allow that devil, yes, to wear me out. I will not allow the devil to freeze me and take my joy and take my praise. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know I got to close. Ah, thank you, Jesus. But I heard the Lord say, I am the Lord thy God. Ah, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? There is nothing uh, called unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you have not known. I want to reveal myself. I want to show you who I am. I want you to know me. Oh Lord, I want you to know me in the power of my resurrection. But before you know me, in the power of my resurrection, you got to know me in the fellowship of my suffering. You got to go through something. Oh Lord, you got to go through something. You got to come through it. The only way you can come through it, you got to come to it. And God will. Somebody say, God will. Oh, yes. God will. Somebody say, yes. Yeah, Lord. I will not. Well, say it like we used to say it in my day. I just ain't going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. I will not. I won't allow the devil to wear me out. No, I'm not calling you a devil. But if the devil's in you, he's just in you. And I'm here to cast him out. Hallelujah. If the devil is in you with your lying self, if the devil is in you with your hoeing self, if the devil is in you with your backbiting self, if the devil is in you with your homosexual self, if the devil is in you with your fornicating self, we ought to stay ready to cast the devil out. Hallelujah. You can't medicate the devil out of these children. You can't medicate him out. You can't whip him out. You got to cast him out. Hallelujah. Some of these children are so immune to hitting. It don't mean nothing. They like a duck. They'll just shake it off. But honey, they can't shake for it off. I'm closing. I have a daughter that lives in South Carolina. She's a pastor's wife. And when she came home from college at 23, and I tell it because she has told it. Hallelujah. She said, Mommy, I, I just don't want to be saved no more. What? I don't want to live like that. Well, what you going to do? Oh, we going to co-ed live. What's that? Us girls and us guys, we're going to get us a place together. And I said, well, that's shacking. She saw, Mommy, that's old-fashioned. But you know, at 23, she was grown, and she had the right to make her own decisions. But I told God, I said, I didn't make sacrifices to send this child to college to raise her up for her to be used by the devil. So what can I do? God said, you have power over every spirit. Speak to her spirit. She lived 40 miles away. I said to my husband and my daughter that's here, Ami, Pastor Vincent Waters, I said, come. And we got on our knees and start praying. And I said to her, I call you by your name. And I command you to come out of that living arrangement. About 45 minutes later, <laughs> she came in the house, fell on the floor, 
start sobbing. I said, baby, what's the matter? She said, mama, I heard you calling me. Hallelujah. Said, I heard you calling me and I can't stay in that situation. We just give up on the devil. We let the devil wear us out. But you got to decree and declare that everything that I have belong to God. My whole family belong to God. My children belong to God. My cat and my dogs, if they live in this house, they belong to God. Because this is God's house. And began to decree. I heard the Lord say, you can decree a thing in the book of Job and it shall be hallelujah God want to establish some covenants but you got to use your mouth and open your mouth and she's a powerful praise God evangelist of God she's a powerful first lady in Florence South Carolina hallelujah God God has given us the power I give you power over all the powers of the enemy. I give you power to tread upon serpents. I give you power to speak my word. And in my name, you shall cast devils out. It's time for us to cast the devil out. Cast him out. I will not let the devil wear me out. Jesus. I, I sure enough got to close. Said in Matthew 24 and 24. Hallelujah. If it was possible. This is how powerful the devil is. If it was possible. He would deceive the very elected of God. But turn and tell somebody. It's not possible. Come on say it's not possible. As long as we stand on our watch. As long as we do what the word say, oh Lord, oh Lord, Jesus said, ye error, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. When you know God's word, hallelujah, I don't care if billows may roll and breakers may dash, but the word of the Lord is going to stand still down on the inside. It's time, church of Jesus Christ. For us to rise up, I don't care what they're doing around this world. Let me say it again. Greater is he that's in you. Come on, point to yourself. The greatest on the inside. He's on the inside of me. He walks with me. And he talks with me. And every now and then, Lord have mercy, he tells me that I'm his own. Hallelujah. I will not. Decree it in the morning. Decree it at noon. Decree it before you lay down at night. I will not allow. Do you all know what allow? Give permission. I will not allow the devil to wear me out. And the end of that verse says, because he will change laws, times and times. Hallelujah. I don't care how many laws he change. I'm a citizen of another country. Hey. And ambassadors that come to the U.S. that's not citizens, but just ambassadors here. They're not subject to our laws. We can't handle them like we handle citizens of this country. They're under diplomatic immunity. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm under diplomatic immunity because I'm a citizen of heaven. And God will fight for me. If you hold your peace, God said, I'll fight for you. This is not your battle. I just want you to be the conqueror. Get out of here, black. I just want you to be the conqueror that knows what to say and what to do. You cannot be afraid. Be thou not afraid. Only be thou courageous. Hallelujah. 
Stand to your feet. I've got to stop. I will not. I just won't do it. I will not allow the devil to wear me out. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody here today. Ah, I thank God for our president because he's about deliverance. Hey. For a number of years, for 20 years, before I went to Brazil as supervisor, as administrator, for 20 years I did 33 revivals across this country. Hallelujah. Thank God for my late husband who understood the assignment that God had on my life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And some of you know that God has given you assignment, but because of what people say, they talked about me like a dog, but you know what? It didn't matter to me. I want to please God. I want to hear him say, well done thy good and faithful servant. One of my daughters, when she turned 20, she had a baby out of wedlock. And they said if she had been home, her, her child wouldn't have had. I said, well, for your information, she was in college on a college campus, almost 21. But, but, you know, you can't let the devil say stuff to make you stop doing what God called you to do. Hallelujah. God's blessings make it rich and add no sorrow to it. Thank you, Jesus. God knew what he told me to do, so he prepared a husband for me. He prepared me for him. Hallelujah. And it lasted 50 years. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. He protected me. Oh. I'm talking to somebody in this room. You got to make up your mind. I won't let the devil wear me out. I won't let the devil steal what God has for me. The assignment that God has given me. Hallelujah. Come on from where you are. Come on from where you are. I, I know back when I was young, it wasn't popular. Said so that gal ain't got no business out there preaching. To my, and my husband said, God called her to preach. <laughs> but you know what? I didn't care two beings about what they were saying. Hallelujah. Now there's other things. God didn't call everybody. Didn't give everybody the assignment he gave Lee Van Zandt. You got to abide in your calling. You got to be where God wants you. He deals with us according to our several abilities. He knows, he knows, he knows what's on the inside of you. He knows your capacity to do what needs to be done. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He knows that I'm not afraid of nothing. Nobody? Nothing. Walking, jumping, skipping, hollering. I'm not afraid of them. Thank you, Jesus. Get up from where you are. Come down to this altar. You're not in the place where God wants you to be. Then you're out of the will of God. I don't accept no jobs without praying for them. Because if you offend in one, you're guilty of them all. I know we don't teach when you accept a job that God don't want you in, you in sin. We just want to be accepted. No, 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 no. You don't never have to accept me. Thank you for the acceptance. Hallelujah. Come on from, there's some men, there's some men, there's some men. And all of y'all wasn't called a pastor. But there's some men that God has a call on your life. And because it doesn't seem popular, because you, you're not the preaching type. You draw back. God doesn't have pleasure in a soul that draweth back. Hallelujah. And God wants some pleasure in us. Ah, the word says in, in 147, he takes pleasure in his saints. Thank you, Jesus. 
Come from where you are. Somebody need to be delivered from that drawback spirit. Somebody need to be delivered from that lying spirit. You love God, but you can't help yourself. Come on from where you are. If you a liar, all liars going to have your part. Know ye not that the unrighteous is not going to inherit the kingdom of God? If you're guilty of one, you're guilty of them all. Hallelujah. Revelations chapter 1, put them all on the same row. The fearful, the unbelieving. I don't believe that. Well, you on your way to hell. If you can't believe the word of God, hallelujah. The murderers said, well, I never would kill nobody, but you lie and say low down dirty stuff about your sister and your brother and kill their influence. You are a murderer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, she's nice, but you murderer, you. Thank you, Jesus. Come on from back there. Come on out of that corner. You can't hide from God. The eye of the Lord is in every place. Ah, I feel God in this house. I feel the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Whatever you need from God. Whatever you need. Don't let the devil tell you that you can't be delivered. Don't let the devil tell you that there's no cure. God healed me of cancer stage four. My mama died of cancer. Hallelujah. My oldest sister died of cancer. My oldest brother died of cancer. My youngest brother died, but God healed me. Hallelujah. Whatever you need today, God has it right now. Hallelujah. Come on, get up. Unbelief, fearfulness, ah, idolatry. Glory to God. My God, the whoremongers, the adulterers. Praise God, the effeminate. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We're praying, we're praying, we're praying, we're praying. God, right now, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke the devourer. We bind the powers of the enemy. Hallelujah. Every trap that the devil has set. We bind it in the name of Jesus and we command the devil to loose your hold and come on out of here in the name of Jesus. That drawing back spirit, we command it to come out of here in the name of Jesus. That lying spirit, hey, 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 woo, come on out in the name of Jesus. Now God heal and deliver and set free every emotional problem heal it right now heal it right now heal us from the sins of the past the generational sins that's been passed down to us heal us right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus somebody clap your hands my time is out my time is out but i need everybody in the room i need everybody in the room that will come from where you are and just lay 10 Put $10 on this altar. Come from where you are. Hallelujah. That's all I'm asking for. Come from where you are. I need everybody to do it. I need everybody. Come on, everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. Come on. That's it. Everybody. Everybody come from where you are. Everybody give $10. Praise God. Hallelujah. I need some people that will sacrifice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on from where you are. Come on from where you are. We just don't have enough time. Come on from where you are. We just don't have enough time. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open it up for me. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Come on, come on from where you are. I need everybody. Everybody's coming. Everybody's giving something. Everybody's giving. Come on, sow. Sow into mission. Everybody's giving right now. From the front to the back. Everybody's giving. Come on, give. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Some of you need to give so you can be healed. Somebody need to give so God can reverse some stuff. So God can turn some things around. Hallelujah. Come on from where you are. Come on from where you are. 
The presence of the Lord is in this house, in the midst of our giving. The presence of the Lord is here. He's here right now. He's here right now. He's here right now. He's here right now. Come on from where you are. Come on, everybody's giving. Everybody's giving. Give God a thank you. Give him a thank you. Give him a thank you. Give him a thank you. You're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Come on, come on, come on. We're coming. Come on, clap your hands and praise God. 